Given two categories with weak equivalences, a functor between them that sends weak equivalences to weak equivalences is called a homotopical functor. So in um, some sense, it is preserving some extra structure with regards to weak equivalences. Now consider the corresponding homotopy categories of these categories. So the functor f followed by the localization functor on D is a functor from C to the homotopy category of D and it sends weak equivalences to isomorphisms. Thus, there exists a functor from the homotopy category of C um, to the homotopy category of D by the universal property. And this is unique again up to unique isomorphism. We call this induced map the derived functor or total functor of F. So remember how we said the, the localizations of the subcategories of fibrant cofibrant and fibrant cofibrant objects were all isomorphic to the original homotopy category. Here's an instance of where that is useful. Many of the functors we will study are not homotopical generally, but become so when restricted to CF or CC. So to make this a little more explicit, consider a functor F that when restricted to the full sub subcategory of fibrant objects becomes a derived functor then um, we call the resulting induced derived functor the right derived functor of F, RF, dually if the restriction to cofibrin objects makes it a homotopical functor, then we call the induced derived functor the left derived functor um, of F, LF. Now you might not expect this to be useful unless somehow it is easier to ascertain that a functor out of the full subcategory of fibrin or cofibrin objects is homotopical. This turns out to be the case and this is called Ken Brown's lemma. So suppose C is a model category and D is a category with weak equivalences. Then a functor out of CF is homotopical if it sends acyclic vibrations to weak equivalences. Dually, a functor out of CC is a homotopical functor if it sends acyclic co-vibrations to weak equivalences. We will prove this, but one of our steps will use what is called the factorization lemma, and that statement and proof is something we will cover later. We will prove for CF and the other case is dual. So suppose that acyclic vibrations are sent to weak equivalences. Now pick a random weak equivalence in CF, and we want to show that it is sent to a weak equivalence. Consider um, the following diagram for a choice of path space object. So P0 and P1 on the bottom are acyclic vibrations following from the factorization of the diagonal. F is a weak equivalence by assumption. The top left vertical morphism is a weak equivalence due to the factorization lemma. The composite vertical morphism factors F through a weak equivalence, and since it um, is a weak equivalence, then P1F is as well. We can apply F to this diagram. All the acyclic vibrations are sent to weak equivalences. The factorization lemma then says that the vertical composite composite is a vibration, and since both are weak equivalences, it is an acyclic vibration. Then we just apply 2 out of 3 a couple times to see that f of f is indeed a weak equivalence. If both c and d are model categories, we don't even need to consider all of d. It follows from what we've just discussed that the left derived functor exists as long as the functor f preserves cofibrin objects and acyclic cofibrations between them. Dually, if f preserves fibrin objects and acyclic vibrations between them, then its um, right derived functor exists. We know these derived functors under the hood send weak equivalences to weak equivalences, but what does it do to objects? Well, if F preserves fibrin objects and weak equivalences between them, then the total right derived functor sends an object X and C to the cofibrin replacement of F of the fibrin replacement of F um, of X, I'm sorry, i.e. QF of PX. Um, dually, if F preserves cofibrin objects and weak equivalences between them, then the total left right functor sends X to PFQX. Um, we will prove the first statement and the other is just dual. Let gamma C be the map from C to the homotopy category of C, and likewise gamma D. 
Um, we can consider RFX as gamma D of F gamma C, as this will give us a map from Ho C to Ho D. By assumption, F is a homotopical functor on fiber and objects. The map from QP of X to P of X, well, first of all, they are both fiber and objects. Second, by construction, the map is an acyclic vibration. So under F, which is a homotopical functor, the map F of QPX to F of PX is a weak equivalence. And so it is sent to an isomorphism under gamma D. Well, then using what we said before, we can have this isomorphism with RF of X. Also, we assumed F preserved fiber and objects. So F of P of X is um, fiber. And so gamma D acts on it by only cofibrant replacement, i.e. gamma D of FP of X is QFPX, and we are done.